Welcome back, Hookaholics. Foulmouth Fishing. Uh, we got our January 2021 Rush Tackle box in. So uh, there was a little bit of back and forth between me and Rush Tackle uh, with situations, but I'm back on, on the list again. So let's dive in to this, uh, this month, January 2021's Rush Tackle box. Uh, Rush Tackle Box, similar to Monster Bass, uh, Lucky Tackle Box, Mystery Tackle Box, um, Bait Crate, etc. All those box companies, past, present, and future. Um, basically, this is just a variety box of baits that you can take, uh, give this as a gift to uh, you know your young angler or adult angler, and it lets them expand a little bit on horizons of different tackle that's out there. You'll get baits from name brands as well as no name brands in RTB. There's one tier unlike Mystery Tackle Box. Mystery Tackle Box has multiple tiers, uh, regular, pro, and elite. This only comes in one standard box size. There's six lures or six items in each one of these RTV boxes. And, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't been super overwhelmed, but I've never been disappointed as yet from RTV. So this is more of that mid-range angler. It's not going to go for your tournament angler. Uh, of course, a tournament angler is not going to buy one bait. They're going to buy six or seven of the same color, same depth profile, same style, and they're going to stack their boat to go out. So if they do break off, they have another backup to grab and throw and just keep bringing in those bass for that tournament win. This is more, I call this basically your sampler. It's the, it's the bread on the table with the different flavors of, uh, of butter or, or jam. Uh, you know, it gives you that taste of the different varieties, and then you can go from there and see, hey, I've never tried uh, throwing this style of bait. Let me try it because it came in here and wow, it works. I like it and it expands you to try new things. That all said, what do we get in this month's RTV? Again, you get a what's in the box card with six items, as you can see right there. Uh, this month we got some live target, some X zone, some gambler, a little bit of impact and a mystery lure that's worth a value of $8.99. So that's kind of cool. They give you something, something to find out in here. Uh, total value of this box is $47.44. We get some sweet decals right off the bat. One of my, my go-tos, the Gary Yamamoto's custom bait sticker. That's definitely going to go someplace fancy-dancy for me. Got a little uh, sticker for Dad, the man, the myth, the fishing legend. That's for all you happy haulers out there. Uh, can't work my arms in a cast. I like that. Maybe I can use that to get out of uh, work for a couple of di days. <laughs> and, of course, for the ladies out there, a little MILF sticker for you. <laughs> Man, I love fishing. <laughs> so we got those four decals in this month's box. We'll start off. I'll read this like a book, left to right, bottom or top to bottom. So we're going to start out first with our live target item for $13.99. We have in Shiner, we have what they call the live target hollow body Shiner. So we've got a, uh, a four and a half inch, half ounce, um, Shiner colored or, you know, little solid or soft plastic swim bait, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm not going to pull this out of the box. Only because I'm going to add this swim bait to uh, our giveaway. I like Live Target. This seems to have, from what I can squish through the package without breaking it, it has a very pliable, supple uh, plastic material. It's hollow bodied, as it says on the back. Um, so it's basically like your fluke. Uh, it's got a, it looks to be a, a um, Texas rig style, but you have a through wire screwed into a hook in the bottom. So that being said, I think... This has got a lot, like a frog, the center mass will collapse, leaving that hook exposed, and uh, it'll allow you to get a good hook up. There's your ring here, your ring up there. So I would throw this, I would get yourself a swivel, 
and I'd run the swivel off of this split ring to your line so you don't get a whole lot of line twist because I would be opposed to this being a hollow body object it'll never necessarily hold true uh, in its wake so it might roll in the water and you wouldn't want to get a whole lot of line twist so I would uh, throw a split ring on there with a swivel to my to my line main line or leader whatever you're gonna pl uh, fly with this and uh, you can see it's got the through wire goes through the through the jawbone here down to the end and then it goes up to this hook uh, I'm gonna say that looks like a maybe a, th a four aught maybe a three aught uh, EWG it's, it's black nickel plated against the black background so it's hard to make out for me but $13.99 I, I honestly say you know what that's pretty good that that's definitely a springtime uh, fishing uh, lure a little top waterish earlier maybe um, you know October early November I'd have been throwing these for those early winter bass um, definitely but that's going in that giveaway for July uh, I did go to Dick's and I picked up a whole bunch of stuff so uh, stay tuned for the next video because I'm gonna go unlock that big bag of goodies and uh, show you what I got for both myself and for all y'all out there next up I'm gonna skip over the mystery lore next up we got the Flappin' Shad from Gambler. So we'll go for Gambler. Flappin' Shad, six inch. Shad bait, soft plastic in a white color. I like these Milky Whites. Now you got yourself basically a, a fluke, but instead of it having the end point tail or a, a V, you know, cut fluke, fork fluke, it's got a flat paddle running perpendicular to the body. So your body's running this way, it's running this way on a different plane. That is a nifty design. I've not had, I don't believe, any soft plastic lures with this particular design. But this has definitely got a belly slot for your hook. I would run probably a light weighted or light weight belly weighted hook on this. A nice little EWG. That looks cool. That looks cool. Six inch flapping shads, definitely going in my box. Um, unfortunately, Gambler, you don't put colors on your stuff, but uh, it is what it is. American made gambling lures, I do support that. $4.99, and it is in a six count, so that's pretty good. $4.99 for six of these flapping shads in that, uh, in that white color. That's cool. I'm going to enjoy flipping those in. Next up from X Zone Lures, Rebel Chunks. I love chunks on my jigs. Um, some people don't. I, I actually do like them. This one's in Green Pumpkin Red Flake. I'm going to go with Watermelon. Watermelon, Black and Red Flake. Oh, yeah, now I see the black. All right, so we got Watermelon with Black and Red Flake. So you can see a couple of black ones in that section right there. It's a nice chunk craw trailer. I do like these, especially when you're using finesse, um, you know, a finesse style jig head because... It's a smaller profile, but it gives you big paddles on the back end. You get a lot of action, but it doesn't mean you're going to end up cutting down a larger craw. You know, you're not taking your three or four inch craw bait and snipping it down to turn it into a tiny trailer to throw on your more finesse. The claws are floating in this, so that's cool. These are three and a quarter inch Rebel Chunks, six pack watermelon black flake, and they put these Rebels at $6.49. So that's awesome. That's awesome. I like that too. Another gambler, uh, the Gambler's Ace. These are five and a quarter inch stick Senkos. The Aces are a little Senko. We've got, was this black and red flake? I'm going to call that black with red flake. See just in there, it's got a little hue of green when I hold it up to the extra bright LEDs here. You can get that green tone through it, but it's typically a dark, very dark black black reddish color because it's got the red flake in there that kind of highlights remember fish well, definitely attractant of uh that's a stinky stinky fish attractant on there um fish see in that red and green light spectrum that's one of the reasons why i've never discounted um the guggen squad baits or six sense baits um one of their keys which i think is a little a little less understood when you look at the Guggen Squad's eyes, or you look at Six Sense, Six Sense is a great uh, protocol to look at their eyes. The eyes on their baits, their crank baits, their hard baits, are these brilliant neon green. And those eyes in that bright green color spectrum, in that UV 
light spectrum and the green red spectrums you're going to have those glow so when a fish is swimming it's going to see those points of bright green off in the distance as you're getting it closer and closer it's going to to get their attention uh, where if you had just a clear glass bead you probably the fish won't even notice it's there then they're going to go for the the main body colors but uh if you know anything when you look at things like um the baits that change color or any bait that has a chartreuse dip it I hold that, I keep a UV light on my boat so I can throw a UV light on it and I can actually see it glow, fluoresce, change to that bright orange. Because you never know, some paint schemes, they might have an orange lateral line and it's just orange paint. The other ones, that same tone to our visual appearance or visual, uh, rec you know, what we see, um, when you throw that black light on it, it'll fluoresce bright orange, or it might change to a fluorescent bright red, even though it looks orange to us. Those color spectrum changes are what the fish can cue in on. So you can actually use a red marker, if you can find one, a red paint stick, a red paint marker, and throw in a lateral line or a little line underneath the belly, and then when you throw that UV, if it's, a, if it's an ink that reacts, it might turn bright red, and it can trick a fish into thinking that your crankbait that's otherwise maybe a shad true a color will have this bloodline running through it or this bright blood splotch that makes it look like a wounded fish tips tips and tricks so there you go uh the gamblers go fish aces are four dollars 99 cents and again this is a pack of six not bad not bad next up last of the name baits is an impacts swim bait so impact lures we got ourselves a couple little uh clear plaster saw uh ice uh you know typical paddle tail swim baits yeah not bad there's a pack of five seven dollars 99 cents impact has a funny well this is one of the damn clamshells it's gonna be okay no it's gonna open it's gonna open yay i thought maybe this was one of those like you get at the hardware store where you need a chainsaw to get into it impact has a really unique scent to their to their baits it's not quite garlic it's not quite anise it's this really cool scent i like these on Baits like this, I like on um, spinner baits, uh, really on buzz baits. I like to run a paddle tail upside down, like that, tail up, on a on a buzz bait. Or what I like to do is take a pair of scissors and cut this paddle off, and just have that tiny little V on the back, that flat razor sharp V, and then I'll throw this correctly uh, sided on. Um, on a chatterbait um, because that that there's less water displacement there's less reaction back here from the paddle once that's gone that you can actually get the chatterbait's vibration to react to the tail and they'll actually start to chatter and kick in sequence as opposed to this lumbering flat panel in the back paddle in the back kind of just like being forced against the water current and the vibration up front and then you got this chatter going D -d 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 up front and then you got this like lumbering paddle in the back I like to have them kind of in, in concert with each other. Um, not bad. Really like this. I really like these. Um, great ribs on the side for great water displacement. The Impact Swim Baits, again, $7.99. And our mystery item, because it's the last bait in here, which is cool. And we were just talking about this uh, in the other video. We've got ourselves a Bagley Rattlin' Divin' Killer B2. So we've got a little bit of a perch striped bluegill color schemed um, diving rattling bait little crank bait so this is a 3 8 ounce 6 to 7 foot mid diver aye, aye, aye. okay get this out of here bagley I love bag bagley uh, bagley lures nice black sharp hooks They have a really cool uh, deep thud in there between a couple of uh, larger knockers. Um, it's got that wide uh, beveled lip. Really cool pattern. I like that. You got that dark blue purple on the back. There's little stripes on there, a little, sh little bright red patch underneath the, the chin. Um, really cool. Like I say, these are one of those things, like I said, if you have a, an ink pen or a Sharpie or something, and you take, go get yourself one of those cheap little black lights, 
and go to a store one day and just hold it up, shine it, see how it reacts. If it's uh, a yellow highlighter, for example, uh, you, you highlight something in yellow highlighter and you hit it with the black light, it fluoresces very bright. Used to use those on like whiteboards. Similar thing, if you can get one that's a little more permanent ink, uh, but not totally permanent, if you don't want to ruin your bait altogether, um, you could just throw that little line in there, add a little bloodline down the center, add a little splotch on there, preferably towards the front hook. It'll fluoresce under the light, the right light conditions during high visibility times. It'll fluoresce and those fish will then key in on that and you're more apt to, to reduce your short strikes and it'll key back into that flash of fluorescent color up front. This is the kind of bait that I use that on. I'd come off this red and I'd put a little blotch here a little bit closer behind the eye, right here by the hook tie and then that's where they tend to start striking. I get more, more side swipe attacks and more front on attacks, even though fish are naturally prone to go after the eyes in the front. Uh, but I get more side swipes and more front end attacks when I do add some sort of a uh, visual trigger to the fish uh, rather than the, the short strikes. I love feather treble hooked treble baits, you know, because I like the way that it looks like a tail, um, but it has occasionally happened where I've watched, especially you know, using a feather treble or a large paddle going for musky and pike and stuff like that, where I've literally watched the musky trailing it, trailing it, comp to swipe, and go after that feather and miss it, uh, especially in my figure eights. <laughs> but uh, that being said, a little tip for you. Hopefully that works out well. So uh, that, the mystery bait the from Bagley, this is an $8.99 item. So that's not bad. I like that. Again, very good consensus of cold water baits in my opinion for the northeast up here um, but they're good all season baits anyway i know a lot of people would would scoff at the white the crystal the clear colors they like more vibrant colors um, there's a lot of people that that think white doesn't work i've never had a problem in fact one of the best colors colors that i've ever had for catching uh trout um rainbows has been white baits just white uh, gr grubs um, that being said, that's not bad. A little surprising little crankbait in there. Um, and again, it's a mid-range diver, six to seven feet. That's nice. You can you can run this into shallow water, just bang it off of rocks. Uh, just don't reel it as fast. Or you can get this down deeper, run it on fluoro. And another trick, if you want to run this deeper, get yourself uh, you know either the lead tape that you can stick underneath the chin, or a tiny little weight that you can put on your eyelet and uh, you run a really fine light uh, basically but what I do is I'll tie it on and I'll use a, a pinch on uh, weight a little you know 16th of an ounce or whatever right by the line tie on my line and it'll tip that nose down and it'll give me another you know foot and a half uh, foot of uh, dive depth even on some of the more shallow diving baits so I hope this was fun RTB again you didn't fail me this time so that's, that's a plus. I appreciate being back. I appreciate everything getting squared away. To Jen in customer service, thank you very much uh, for helping me out, Jen, uh, getting all these things squared away. Uh, again, with after my, my card had been eaten in the ATM, it got everything all screwed up. So I appreciate that if you happen to come by and peruse this video. All that said, leave a comment in the, in the comments below if any of these uh, items kind of caught your eye. What do you think about RTB? I've got plenty of videos in the past. Uh, tell me what you think. It's a standard six items. Uh, mystery tackle box can fluctuate. You can get five items in an MTB Elite. You can get 11, 12 items in an MTB uh, Elite. Um, RTB is pretty much level playing field. So it's, it's not shocking, but it's actually comforting to me. Uh, what do you think about giving these away as, uh, you know, birthday prizes or birthday giveaways and, uh, for friends, uh, Christmas presents, Father Day presents? What do you think about these kinds of boxes for that, for the angler in your life? I always like to interact, so give me some comments and give me some thoughts. Uh, I know it's nothing new, but I like to interact. It's something new to me because I haven't really discussed it with you. As always, I appreciate you all spending some time with me. Um, it's been a real quick video. I think we're under like 20, so that's a, that's a plus. Um, as always, for me to you, thank you for uh, spending that time. And tight lines, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next cast, Hookaholics. Peace.